Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Willie V, aka Bull Boy Kennels. Today, we will be going over one of the uh, new features in Compressor, and this is um, creating a web reference movie. Now, any of those that have used QuickTime Pro, and if you ever use the export to web feature, then you're already halfway there as far as what needs to be done. Because you know when you use QuickTime Pro, it creates an HTML page for you, a poster image, and basically you just copy the code and place it onto uh, your own web page. But we're going to um, do pretty much the same thing but in Compressor, but there are slight variations as to how it actually works. So. Let's go ahead and uh, open up Compressor. And when you first launch Compressor, depending on whether or not you've changed the setting, you'll get the template batch window that'll open up. Now you can also set it to where it doesn't open up, and then you can do it manually. So the one where we will be selected is Create Web Reference Movie. So let's go ahead and uh, select that. And you'll notice on here that the there's three different sizes that it creates. Large, medium, small. Now by default, the large movie, when it exports it, it's all based on size. So if you have a 1080p movie, then by default, the largest size will be 720p. But if you have a, say, uh, 960 by 540 then that would be the biggest size so just keep that in mind so we'll go ahead and I'll select that and here we have it already set up in compressor now I have a movie here we'll go ahead and I'll select this drop it on into the uh, video well If you select the icon for each encode type, you will see that when we go to the encoder tab, it'll have different settings and the width and height, as you can see, it says up to 1280 by 720. Now, we can go to the next tab or the second to the last and here if you need to modify or you want to make it a specific specific size you can go ahead and then select what size you want whereas I said if you're using a 1080p then of course the largest size it will create is a 720p or up to the size of that particular movie so long as it does not exceed the specified size so for each encode type you can select the video size that you want for large, medium, and small. Or, as you can see here, you can do 100% of the source, 50, or 25. Now, I'm just going to leave it at default because there's really not a need for us to change that. Um, one thing to note, and this is if um, you're using it for the first time and may not realize, but rather than to click on the jobs that you're doing click on the outside box so that way it highlights it in blue for this particular um, batch that we're creating we want to go to the job actions tab and in here it'll tell us what we're what we will be creating where here is a web reference movie and that's what we're going to create now we'll need to select where we're saving this to and the reason why is because this will create the HTML page for us along with the poster image now I'm just going to save it to my desktop and we'll give it a name and go ahead and save that so now when it saves the files it will be saved to our desktop once we have that we can go ahead and uh, hit submit and get this job started. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up Batch Monitor, and just to show you, if you do not select the location for your job action, as I just showed you, when you see it on here in your Batch Monitor, it'll say Error, and that's because you're not selecting a location to save those files to. But as long as you select the location, then it'll show it as right here where there's no error. So I'll go ahead and uh, let this run through, do its thing. It's actually quicker than the time it says, but nonetheless, we'll go ahead and uh, just let it run through to speed up the process. Okay, now that that has finished exporting, um, another thing to note, if you want the movies to have a different name, make sure that in this area here, you make that change prior to to submitting your job. If not, then that's the name it's going to have. And you don't want to cause any um, issues or confusion with the reference movies because they are linked to particular file names when you do this export. Um, another thing is, as I say, it does create the poster image that we have here and the sample HTML page. And like I say, if you've used um, QuickTime Pro and you use the export to web feature, you know that it creates the HTML page for you, which you can just copy that code, put it into a web page, and it creates three different versions. It'll create a, a larger file, a iPhone file, and a uh, 3G file. Those are the three that the uh, export to web in QuickTime Pro creates. So what we want to do is we want to make some changes to this HTML file if you want to use this one or if you just copy the code, you'll still need to make certain changes. So you can use pretty much any HTML editor, Text Wrangler, BB Edit, um, anything that will allow you to edit the um, HTML code itself. So the section that we want to go ahead and change will be pretty much everything up to the name. So I'll go ahead and I'll copy that, and we'll go ahead and I'll put that in here. And the only thing we're going to change is everything up to C, W, R, or the name that your file is called. Now you can do this so long as the files are all in the same exact folder. Now if you're going to have the movies in a different location, then of course you'll need to include the uh, complete URL or the location to the URL files themselves. All right, and then we'll go ahead and uh, save this out. And I can go ahead and uh, exit out of here now. Um, then, you know, if you have it on your own server, we'll go ahead and uh, upload these files. So I'll go ahead and uh, upload everything that's here. The three movies. I don't need the original movie that we encoded, just the ones that were encoded for us, along with the poster image, the reference movie, and the HTML file. And you got to make sure that you include the reference movie file that it creates. If not, then this will not work. So give this a moment to go ahead and uh, upload. Shouldn't take very long, but nonetheless, we'll go ahead and uh, let it let it do its job. All right, now that that is uh, uploaded, go ahead and uh, close out of here, and go ahead and uh, open up our web browser, and then we'll go to the location of the URL that we uploaded this to. And then here you can see the uh, web reference movie that we've created along with the poster image. Again, this is just a sample page that we would use to be able to embed into another website. And again, we'll have to include these codes as well as 
this bottom section. So we will go ahead and include that. Then we can just go ahead and uh, test it out. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Willie V, a.k.a. And there you have it. That's how we would create the um, web reference movie. Anyways, this is uh, Willie V, a.k.a. Boo Boy Kennels of iTexture.com. And as always, thank you for taking the time to watch.